Introducing first to my left, making his winter residence in Playa del Carmen, Mexico, weighing in at a fuck ton of money. He is the root of all evil and Ava Everett's favorite tag partner, Charles Mason. His opponent directly in front of me, Weighing in at 202 pounds from Dangertown, USA. The alternative, Anthony Green. Oh, well, I guess we found out how Anthony Green's going to respond to losing the Limitless Wrestling World Championship. It's taking out his aggressions on Charles Mason. What a segue into the good hand now and just laying down the leather. The alternative. Big time back elbow. Thought he was looking to end it early. I thought he was going to go for a pinning combination there, but just laying down hammers to the root of all evil. This is the first page of a fresh chapter for the alternative Anthony Green here. Huge statement available to him at the expense of the root of all evil Charles Mason, who has a statement to make himself. Certainly does. I mean, coming off, I mean, is it fair? It's a victory over Big Beef, but we all saw it. We watched the IWTV replay. A handful of tights, more than a fistful of tights, I would say. Mason getting the win, running away, and he says he's done with Big Beef, and that's led him to a step up in competition facing the former world champion just after he's lost the championship. Yeah, no doubt about it. Meeting each other in opposite directions. Uh, inside out, the alternative. Innovative offense, always from Anthony Green, but only a from referee Eric Greenleaf. Charles Mason can take an otherworldly amount of punishment. He's got a very deep gas tank on him. I mean, I thought he was knocked out last month. I'm going to be real. I cannot believe he had his wits about him to do that and get the victory, but he did. And that's something that Anthony Green has to watch out for. Charles Mason's so dangerous in the ring, you just don't know what to expect with this dude. Yeah, he seemingly feeds off the punishment, gets stronger in the later innings down the road. And you don't see that very often. You don't see that in many competitors. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Whoa! Oh my gosh! Check on him, Greenleaf! We thought it might have been time for so much prettier, and uh, Charles Mason had it scouted. That was a nasty fall. That was a nasty landing for Anthony Green. And Charles Mason stalking, going to take his advantage as he makes his way to the other side of the ring to pick up what's left at this point, my goodness. Yes, yeah, scraping himself off the hardwood floors here at the Yarmouth Amvets, and now Mason following up, precision right hand. He's bringing the club down on the alternative. That could be a damaging blow for AG moving forward. It really could be. AG falling hard to the floor, and now Mason looking to pick him apart inside the ring. A nice placement on that boot right there, and he's got Green backed in the corner. Uh, he's trying to open him up. The wide up in the pitch on the knife edge chop. And he's right in the face of AG as well. I don't know if AG's been smothered like this recently. I mean, we think back to the match with Daniel Garcia in September for the championship when he won it back. I think that's a different kind of smothering in the ring because Daniel Garcia was really trying to lock him into a submission hold at the earliest possible opening, but Charles Mason here tonight, you just don't know where this dude's going to hit you from. He's coming at all angles, he's trying to choke you, he's a weirdo at that, you just don't know how to game plan. No, he's a very tough one to game plan for, and plus you never know what kind of, you know, sharp objects might be on his person at any given time. Well, I find it interesting, he has switched to the tights here tonight as he tries to rip the hair out of his scalp. Referee Eric Greenleaf being pushed to his limits. Oh, and up with the neck twist. Charles Mason, absolutely a master of taking control of his surroundings. And now, what's he got in mind here? Yeah, bringing AG back to his feet. That can't be good news for the alternative. A little stall on the drop right there from the root of all evil. And yet again, only two from referee Eric Greenlee. Back to the drawing board for Mr. Mason. 
know, we talk about how much punishment and the gas tank on Charles Mason, but Anthony Green in front of a limitless wrestling audience is one of the toughest outs there is. Yeah, I mean, you want to talk about endless gas tank. There's a definition right in front of you with AG, but he's being choked right now by Charles Mason, the airway being restricted, but AG knows it's a pivotal moment to fight back, a pivotal moment to get out of this as he tries to send Mason off. And he caught it! Oh, sleeper hole. A little tit for tat, anything you can do, I can do better. And Green now trying to inflict some damage here on Mason. You know, Anthony Green, the taller of the two competitors, can definitely get a little bit more mileage out of Mason, able to get, able to escape. AG ducking the back elbow, leapfrog. And double clothesline, both men are down. Our second contest of the night here on the price you pay. If you're watching on IWTV, use that hashtag, price you pay, and we appreciate you tuning in. Eric Greenleaf with the count now. Yarmouth expressing their appreciation, trying to will Anthony Green back to his feet. Mason now with the assistance of the ropes. Both combatants. It's got to feel good for AG to have that support. I mean, we, we had kind of a split audience here last time for the title fight with Alec Price. Not something that Anthony Green is used to, but tonight, all systems go. Yarmouth in full support of the alternative Anthony Green as he peppers Charles Mason, looking for the whip. The root of all evil able to reverse, but Green, like a bat out of hell out of the corner. Back elbow connecting. Explodes out of there. Now Anthony Green with the jaw jacker. Coming in, neckbreaker. Impressive combo from AG, and he's right back up to his feet. Green is rolling here in this first time ever collision. Anthony Green looking to follow up. Might be looking to go inside out. Got it. Into the cover once again. And another two count, not enough done yet. Mason still has some gas left in the tank, but Green, I think he's looking for the kill shot right here. Oh, Shinoku Dryer spikes him. And Mason continues to kick out. Anthony Green, you can see it on his face. What do I got to do? Yeah, I think it's setting in right now that, you know, Charles Mason is a different animal. Every opponent that you face is, but you have to figure it out. I mean, Mason has not been with this wrestling in the grand scheme that long, especially while AG is here. How much homework has he done on what Mason brings to the table? Yeah, no doubt about it. Anthony Green had a rough experience with so much prettier before. Oh, but Mason able to escape. And once again, restricting the airway of AG. Lightning fast transition right into it. Yeah, that was impressive. Mason so quick in the ring, but Green able to counter, connecting with the jawbreaker, and that's going to stun you at least for the moment. But Mason lurking behind as he always does, locking AG in once again. He needs that body scissors to really put this one to bed. Referee Eric Greenleaf right in his face, perfect positioning, seeing if AG's going to fade away. He's going to quit. He's got the ropes right here. That's going to force a break from Charles Mason. Of course, we're going to hold on as long as possible. Yeah, right under four, point, four and a half. Unsurprising, Eric Greenleaf reprimanding the root of all evil. Oh, but he's right back to it. Wait a minute! Sleeper suplex! Good gracious, could be it! Only two! Unreal! Anthony Green cut from a different cloth surviving, surviving a maneuver like that. And Mason right in his face once again. The mind games this dude loves to play inside the ring. Unparalleled. Oh, you want to talk about unparalleled? That good hand from AG. Up and over goes Mason. Must step it up. Right into that guillotine choke, and he's got the front body scissors. Anthony Green close to that, close to the ropes there, centering himself though. Electing a bull rush Mason into the corner, relinquishes the hold. Wait! I spoke too soon. Mason just will not give up. AG's gonna have to figure out something different. And the alternative was a suplex overhead. Green driving Mason down on his spine. And now is the moment, AG, you have to capitalize. Oh, both combatants worn out here. Knockout, drag out, fight. What's well, clear the game plan of Charles Mason, Anthony Green really needs to keep his neck and his throat clear of that dude. Crushing him in the corner. Out of the way, Greenleaf, because here comes Anthony Green into a boot from Charles Mason. Oh, and this doesn't look good at all. That rope assisted choke. Don't just 
Charles Mason cutting every possible corner. Will take any avenue he needs to. And Green swinging wildly once again. Mason going to try to rip him to the outside here over the ropes, and he does. Another nasty spill to the outside for Anthony Green. Mason now pulling Green up to the apron. What's he got in mind here? God. Oh, the Green. Oh! Super kick connecting and a clothesline from the outside in. He's got Mason reeling. AG over the top. Mason has hold of the ropes. Greenleaf. Oh, and he got it. Here's your winner, the alternative, Anthony Green.